What's up guys we're back on world flipper today we're going to be taking a look at the valentine's event that was just announced to be hitting global if you guys have been watching that jp release schedule you guys know this was on the way but i just want to cover it for anybody that doesn't know what is coming and go over what the new character that we are going to be receiving as an event drop the event is called valentine's all fair in love and war fest it is going to be running from the 11th of this month to december 2nd it starts at 5 utc and for me that's going to be 9 p.m pacific time so this is going to be dropping tonight for me. You guys can go ahead and get started on this. You're going to be able to obtain that Valentine's gift and cacao fruit by clearing quests, defeating the bosses in the story event. So this is going to be that event exchange materials that you're going to be able to take these Valentine's gifts and trade them in for the rewards. And then during the event related period, you're going to be getting daily missions added every day. So we're going to be getting new stuff to do every day. This event is going also going to be getting a five star weapon, the Count Valentine's journal. I'm going to cover that later in this video. I want to go ahead and take a look at the new character receiving so if we go ahead and look we are receiving a free this is going to be free for the event you are going to be getting a character called parfait he is a light four star she has the leader ability of when light characters hp is at or above 80 percent light characters are going to go up that 60 percent attack every five enemies defeated light characters attack six percent up to that maximum of the extra 30 percent and then heal four percent of max hp up to five times an interesting leader skill so we've got this you know attack up 60 with an extra 30 percent every time you defeat somebody but you do have to maintain that healthy hp with light fever though light fever you can heal a lot so this is a positive thing but it's also probably not going to be your leader if you're running the correct build of light fever so, so it's okay we have the skill of facing the nearest enemy use a cooking knife to finally chop surrounding enemies dealing light damage 15 times and damage enhanced against beast and demon type enemies plus 50 percent and if the skill last hit lands heal 10 percent to self gonna be enhanced for light characters by 50 percent i like that text in that it's gonna be finally chopping surrounding enemies she looks like she's straight out of shokugeki I like it a lot. It's going to have a skill cost of 470. So her ulti is on that lower wait time. We have her ability one. Her own HP is going to go up 10% while another party member's HP is at or above 80%. That character's direct attack damage is going to go up by 50%. Ability two is going to be every three enemies defeated, excluding self. We're going to go to party members attack plus 7% up to that maximum of 35%. So every three enemies defeated, your party's attack is going to raise up to that maximum of 35% except for her. So she's going to boost everybody else up and then she has that main slot after 20 direct attacks by herself light characters are going to receive a five percent boost to attack up to that maximum of 20 percent and then she's going to heal for four percent of the max hp up to five times so she's for a free unit this isn't bad i don't think this is a bad unit at all for free to play this is something that we're getting for free we're going to do the event we're going to be able to throw her on a light team and then I do like that she does have that a direct attack damage up so if you're running light fever and you have her on your team that ability one is going to give you that up to direct attack so as a free to play light unit you know I don't think she's too bad. All right, guys, I want to go ahead and take a look at the weapon we're going to be receiving here. So if we go on, we have the Count Valentine's Journal. This is a five star wind weapon with the ability of when combo reaches 30 for 10 seconds, you're going to get plus 30 percent to skill damage for wind units. And you're also going to get five percent HP for wind units it has that base HP of 46. 110 it's going to be obtained by using those valentine's gifts you're going to receive for doing the event you can grind up those items and you're going to be able to trade in for this weapon this is a really nice weapon for selty's win combo team i mean it literally goes hand in hand with how selty functions so this is a pretty nice free to play armament that we are receiving we are also getting the alks handmade chocolate this is going to restore 100 stamina and you can receive this by logging in between the 10th so today to the 21st of november it restores 100 stamina we can only get one sadly i know that people have been asking for more stamina refresh items so this is kind of nice just you're farming up those godly golem weapon drops getting ready for the new EX difficulty to come out. You guys are just get 300 stamina, get a few extra runs in there. So this is nice. Log in, grab this. It's free. And we've also got a new spotlight I wanted to touch on briefly. So we have the Women's Warrior Spotlight. It's running from the 11th to the 21st. These are all units that have already existed, but the key to this banner is that Shisuzu is on raid up. So if you guys don't have Shisuzu, there's a chance to snag her. You're going to be getting lots of three stars. She is on raid up. This is 
a really nice way to grab her if you don't have her. If you guys have Shisuzu and you just don't need any of these units, this is definitely something that I would save your beads. We have Rolf coming. We have Beretta coming. This is strictly, I feel, for people that are missing Shisuzu. It's a way for you guys to grab her. Shisuzu is so relevant in so many comps. Her ability is just, it's ridiculous. It's why she's the meme six star of the game because she's just, she's so useful. So if you guys don't have Shisuzu and you have the beads to spare, this might be worth trying to snag one. But other than that, I would definitely hold off and save for the upcoming banners. All right, guys, that's going to be it for my coverage of the incoming Valentine's Day event that we are getting in Global World Flipper. Do hope you guys hop in and get this event done. Some pretty nice free stuff. So get in there, do that. I appreciate you being here watching the video. If you're new here, you're looking forward to more World Flipper content. Just got your content all around. Hit that sub button. And remember, guys, if you hit that thumbs up, it'll help bring my rates up. Peace, guys. Yeah.